So I'm going to be starting with my Benefit Stay Don't Stray Eyeshadow Primer and just packing this over the eyelid, blending that out, and prepping for some eyeshadow. For the eyes, I'm taking the Too Faced Semi Sweet Chocolate Bar Palette, taking the shade Peanut Butter and using this as my transition shade in my crease. After that said, I'm packing on this black shade all over the eyelid. I'm not sure if the name is licorice, if that's pronounced that way. But yeah, I'm packing this all over the lid. And then I'm going to be doing a lot, a lot of blending in this tutorial because this is a smoky eye and you want to make sure you can blend as much as you can. So to blend, I'm taking a clean eyeshadow brush or eyeshadow blending brush. And I'm blending this with the transition shade and I'm going to be reapplying peanut butter and then reapplying the black shade back and forth and when I say peanut butter I mean the name of the eyeshadow <laughs> just in case so I'm just blending everything together So I wanted to add a pop of shimmer on top of the black. This is by Maybelline and it's their loose tattoo pigment shadow and it's black and it has like a blue glittery base to it. And I'm going to be using the Too Faced glitter glue as a primer before I pack this on because you want to make sure if you're using any type of glitter or loose pigment that it has something to stick on to. So I'm packing this all over the black area. Never wipe your eyeshadow and windshield mo Ugh, I cannot talk and will windshield movements because you want to make sure that it stays in place. The only time you should move the brush and windshield movements is if you're applying your crease, which is what I'm doing right now. Sorry I got so tongue tied. So I'm spraying my flat eyeshadow brush and I'm using the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the name Tassel and I'm just packing that right on top because I felt like I needed more glitter and shimmer going on and I'm just packing that on a second layer and for liner I'm taking the Tarte Tarte Teeth Gel Liner and doing my wing liner. So for lashes, I'm using Coco Lashes in the name Goddess, but first, I almost forgot a step, I'm applying my Makeup Forever Mascara. This is a sample size from the Beauty Insider from Sephora. So I'm just applying my lashes and the other lash off camera. For concealer, I'm using the Tarte Maracuja Creases Concealer, and I'm going to be pointing that where I normally conceal and just blending that out with my Beauty Blender.
to set my concealer, I'm using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, which I haven't used in my tutorials lately. So I'm bringing that back and I'm running out. So this is how I use my translucent powder. I'm taking my Real Techniques brush and just setting my under eyes and everywhere else that I concealed. So another product I haven't used in a while is the Anastasia Contour Kit. I'm taking the banana shade and just setting under my eyes and everywhere else I also set my translucent powder. And I'm taking two of the shades from the contour palette, carving out my cheekbones and then I'm going over that with a more larger Real Techniques brush. And I'm just going to bronze up my face and blend everything out. So after I contoured my nose, I'm blending that out with my beauty blender because I felt like my nose contour was too harsh and I'm just contouring under my lips with my bottom lip and my chin to give the illusion of a smaller chin and taking one of the lash shades in the contour palette and just bronzing up the face and blending that out. So I'm just cleaning up under my contour with my Laura Mercier translucent powder. Not necessarily baking, but you know, just, you know what I'm doing. <laughs> And I'm going back into the Too Faced palette and taking peanut butter and just giving some definition under my eyes in the outer corner. Really bringing the eyelid together and just intensifying the look. Now for some highlight, I'm taking the Anastasia That Glow kit and I'm taking the shade uh, Sunburst, I believe, and I'm applying this in the inner tear duct of my eyes to brighten up the eyes. And I'm spraying my fan brush and using Sunburst as a highlight on the highest points of my cheeks and on the bridge of my eyebrow, well, my eyebrow bone. I don't know why it's the bridge of my eyebrow. My eyebrow bone. <laughs> and the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow. So after I, you know, finish the look, I'm taking my hair down and for the lips, I'm using Max Strip Down Lip Pencil. And I'm going to go over that with Kat Von D's, um, I believe it's Bow and Arrow, the liquid lipstick. And these are really two good combos. The shades are very, very similar, so I recommend this lip combo. And after that, the look is finished. So I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And let me know any more videos you want me to do. Um, more makeup looks are on the way. So be on the lookout for that. And I will see you in my next video.